International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Power is everywhere in global health. Different actors and institutions influence over the selection of global health priorities and strategies. And the exercise of power might be more or less apparent. For the last decade, my colleague, uh, Professor Kristin Hagen, and I have been interested in gentle and indirect expressions of power within healthcare. In our recent commentary in the International Journal of Health Policy and Management, entitled Powerful Concepts in Global Health, comment on knowledge, moral claims and the exercise of power in global health, we argue the need to analyse and debate the power inherent in language and concepts which direct our understanding of global health. Concepts represent an omnipotent force within global health which empowers every actor but which is seldom considered a source of power on its own terms. In our paper we emphasize the importance of questioning the global validity of concepts underpinning modern global health policy. Here I will only provide one example of how concepts work as discrete and indirect forces of power within global health. Other examples are provided in our paper. I will question the concept of global health as such. According to the French philosopher Jean-Luc Nancy, the concept of the global is far from neutral. To name an idea as global is to attribute universal authority to the idea. This is always an imperialistic act, Nancy claims, because it excludes diversity and local differences. By adding global to health, we proclaim our right to set norms and standards of health on behalf of the whole world. The concept of the global presupposes a rationality which is outside and above the world and from which the global might be objectively defined. Thus, the idea of a global health presupposes a knowledge which is not of the world, but superior and independent of it. However, Nancy's point is that the global can never be neutral and objective because it is defined from within the world and not from without. Thus we need to question what we tend to presuppose, the universal validity of our own concept of the globe. Our world is not the only world in the world, Nancy claims. This means that to be aware that our idea of global health can never be global. In the moment we think it is global, it betrays itself, it becomes unhealthy. This also implies questioning other concepts uh, which are central to our world view. We believe that our examples of conceptual power are not isolated cases, but exemplary for a gentle, quiet and often overlooked form of power that underpins our reasoning within global health.